<laughs> hey guys, it's just me and Cody out here on the water this weekend and we decided we're gonna try to do better about filming everything because you guys are always asking if we're on YouTube making videos. So we're gonna show y'all what a day of noodling looks like. And, and we're at the first hole. And there's a fish in it, so. Here we go. We're about to video the first bite reaction. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a big fish. How do you know it's a big fish? Because he, boom. Was booming. He bit me really hard. <laughs> okay, y'all, so Cody's right here. I was about, I don't know, 15 feet away over by the boat, and I heard the fish bite him. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I immediately need to get my phone out. Let me out. see if I can. Get him. Oh. Oh. Giant There's fish. no way that you can you, you can hear fish. that on this video. That's a giant flathead. Yeah. You've been asking for a big flathead all year. He can hold his breath for so long, it scares me. Cause I can't do it but for maybe 10 seconds. <laughs> See his little foot swiveling up over there. I haven't felt any bites, which is weird. Oh, I do now. between your legs if you got to put them between your legs cody doesn't um he doesn't run his hand through the gills anymore <laughs> right behind the gill plate he just does the two-handed thing but you gotta have a lot of upper body strength just to grab their mouth with two hands dang <laughs> Good job, babe. That's a big old fish. Big old flathead. Heck yeah. God. We gotta weigh it. We gotta weigh him. That's... She's gonna be 40. You think 40? Yes, yeah, she'll go 40. I think close to 40, yeah. She's got fishing line hung in her. Oh, where she just swallowed a bait or something. Oh, no, that's weird. It's wrapped in her gill. They got little teeth behind these gills. They're real white and sharp. Oh, that's sad. You get it? I got it. It's just lying. Yeah, don't. This is why you don't just leave broken mom land. That's sad. She's good now. Hold her up. It's a big old fish. Yeah, it is. We're going to weigh her. What's your total, like, full guess? Not just even number. Uh, she's 40. Okay. 38. Let's see. Oh, 35. And she gassy. Oh. 35. Let's get her. Back in there. These big fish can stress out really easy. The little ones will stay pretty feisty for a while. All right, y'all, so... While we got this big fish here, we're gonna talk a little bit about 
a lot of questions y'all ask. These blunt fins, or y'all ask, do they get you uh, on flatheads, yellow cats, whatever you want to call this? We call it flatheads. They're uh, they actually don't even have any barbs. The blue cats do, but whenever they get about 20, 25 pounds, they stop having. Uh, they're dull. They're dull. They just kind of get blunt. So, but flatheads, you don't have to worry about anything. Nothing on them is going to get you. They're basically a a big bass. <laughs> No they eat mostly live food. They in inhale their food. This one right here, she's about 35 pounds. Yeah. Another thing I get asked is sometimes, Cody's really good. He He's strong enough to just hold them with his hands on the lips. But for me, I have to go through here and there's actually, see my fingers? I'm not touching her gills at all. So I'm not hurting her when I do that. Now, if you accidentally get in the red, yes, they will bleed. I don't know if that fish hurt, but they will bleed and it, I am imagine it could hurt them. So we try not to touch the red ever. Um, what I mean by red, some people say it's blood. That's not blood, that's just her gills. So that's another big question we get. And um, another question is that. Oh, the marks. That's nothing that we did to her. That's what she's doing to herself from getting in that hole. But she's she getting under concrete boat ramps and uh, we catch them in concrete sea walls and even any some natural structure. holes. But yeah. any structure, when they get in there, that's from that concrete. When she's in there uh, working that nest and keeping their eggs clean, that's from her uh, getting rubbed up against the concrete. So that's a big question we get asked. And how do you find the holes? Literally, you just find any structure you can and use your feet. Like right now, my foot is in about a two foot hole and we normally catch fish out of it. We didn't this time, but Cody found her in one that's nearby, so. It's a big old fish here. Yeah, something got a hold of her tail. Mm -hmm. She's <laughs> Did you just see how she rolled? So yeah, catfish roll on you. Blues are worse. We say they're, they do the alligator roll, but this flathead was surprisingly. That's what she's been wearing it out <laughs> and their teeth too y'all see yeah no sharp teeth they're not sharp but oh, they watch, are pokey watch this so i've got my sleeve on it's sam it's like it's velcro. sandpaper just like so, velcro it's pretty cool but very cool we're gonna let this one go uh, oh that's another question before you go cody what? do we keep fish no we'll keep like five to ten fish at the most at we the haven't most we didn't keep any last year but um, that's just every now and then we'll keep them to kind of have something to eat eat on we'll talk actually we'll talk more about that later and i'll tell y'all what i've i've researched and that's why we stopped keeping fish even though right. when cody first taught me he wasn't scared to keep them but we've learned a lot i'm gonna put this big girl back yeah go down here to her hole i wouldn't put her back in let her let her do i want to put her in i want to see if she'll we can catch her again later i don't think anybody knows about this hole so i'm gonna see fish show y'all we let them go so how i let her go I go in here and i'm gonna put her back in the hole the way, she, way i got her out so some friends from oklahoma said it's better to put them in backwards but they've never had luck with that <laughs> obviously taking him a minute to maneuver her she okay yep she's out all right all right, we're here to hole number two. So this whole thing is a hole right there. See under there, right there, right there. How they're getting in is right there. So, but you can grab them just about anywhere up through there, but they get in right there and they're probably in there about a foot. So let's see if Alyssa can't get in here and grab. Where was he at, right there? Yes, he's like right there. Okay. Go in. Just your hand. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> He's a little, like 15 pound flathead. <laughs> he just tore my hand up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think he's more than 15. He is so hateful. Do you feel him? Mm-hmm. You can probably hear him in this video. I don't even know what he's biting at right now. He's, he's probably Thumper. Is it? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear that. He just swallowed my whole hand. 
Okay. That's his esophagus. <laughs> esophagus. His esophagus. Get him. Oh my gosh, he's smoking it. I'm about to have to take the sleeve off. It's the reason I can't get him. Twisty guy. Very twisty. Did he? Very, very twisty. <laughs> very twisty. Very twisty. <laughs> That's a good one. He's pretty. I think that is Stumper. No, Looks like it's the same fish. He ain't bumping. It's a good fish though. I think there's another. You wanna grab it? Here. Yeah. I'll grab this one. <laughs> oh, let me get bit again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> we hugging. <laughs> yeah, it's a spin on me. Here. I got him. You got him? Mm -hmm. He's a spinny little. I got him. Get him. Get the other one. Nothing else? Uh, sure? Uh, not that I can feel. I feel a nest he's been working on. Yeah. There was a big um, cinder block in there. Hmm. Oh, I missed that. Bit you pretty good. It's a good little flap. Oh, there she is. Well, corral her up. Hear that? I don't, actually, I don't know. It may have just been my stick bumping. He was right here at the front, mm -hmm. ready to fight, son. <laughs> yeah, I don't, there's nothing else. Okay. Wait, there's nothing else. He's got it worked out pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's for a little guy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let me see him again. Little fish. It's cute. Little tight fans tore up. Where? There he went. <laughs> Flipper. Catch and release. This one isn't thumper. It could be the female. Mm -hmm. That same one I already caught. Yeah. No, it could be a different one. Yeah, that's right, because we did. There's a lot in here. Different one over there. Is this better? <laughs> That's so sweetie. Get him. Oh. That is Stumper. No, really? Looks like it. He ain't thumping. It's a pretty fish. Very. Very green. Dang, it's pretty. In there, look how cool. Come look at this. Look at the veins. See them up there on the, on the gill plate? Yeah, been caught before for sure. I think it's one we've caught before. Yeah, sure. and show y'all these hooks too. So we got cane sticks, just cane pole, and then in Alabama, it's illegal to use barbed hooks. So what we do is we get hooks and cut the barbs off and cut the tip. We bend these barbs down so where it won't hurt them. And uh, that's just to kind of help because that fish was in here. What was was he in there that whole? Yeah, I had whole it way? on that. You see that last notch? I had it right yeah. there. That last. So night. that fish was that far down in there. So with arm. With her arm. Like so your full arm. that shows you how deep in the 
those holes can go. So and we've got some poles that are like eight foot deep, mm -hmm. eight feet long. I mean, yep. All right, I'll let him go. Yeah. Should I put it back? Nah. Just let it go. Yeah, again? it's just the male. He'll get back in there. Nice. He thought of me. There you go. The boat is kind of coming back. <laughs> you want to go get it? Yeah. Uh -oh. Go swim. Now, this people always ask about snapping turtles. This is when I would actually worry about a snapping turtle. Not when Look at that catfish old. booger on me. Catfish slime. Oh, there's some really good rock over there. Yeah, we've checked that. There's nothing there. Water shoes get heavy when you're swimming. All right, we'll catch some more. See what else we can get. Ready? Yep. Looks like you're taking a poo. Out of there? Yep. Waves are coming. Don't hurt your hand. Oh, sweet little flatty. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. Big old bobcat. It's <laughs> the same one. Yep. Oh, well, I gotta get the boat. We'll come back. back. About to let him go. All right, y'all. About to let him go. <laughs> there it is. Is she any bigger? Yeah. She's really pretty. Just put her back in there and let her lay. Problem is, we don't let him go. We should have. He's good. He'll go back in there. She said, if he ain't in there, I want yeah. nothing to do with it. Turn off. Y'all just missed me wrangle him into the boat with this jangle. <laughs> Look at that joker. He's like, what do I do now? Grab him. He better hurry. He's gonna get out. No. He'll get out quick. No. He's missing his tail. What is it, Muddy? Go behind him and grab his head, baby. He's gonna bite my foot. Yo, don't let him poop on you. Grab the end of his tail quick. He'll poop on you. <laughs> Get him. I don't know how to. You okay? You all good? We cool? I was trying to help you cross. That was a long way to go. I don't know what he was doing. Where's your booty? Yeah, poop Here on it is. you. Where's your booty? All right. Look at that joker. It's a big old snake. Big old snake gang. Big old snake. Big old bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Well, that was probably the most exciting part of my day. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Well, yeah, he was going that way. That way so let we him, let him go do what he's wanting to do, I guess. Bye. <laughs> he's wanting to swim. I guess he's wanting to be a water snake. Go. He said, I don't even know where I was going. I'm just going. <laughs> 
screw white people. Look how fast he is. <laughs> I don't know how I got him. That was pretty cool. Of course. They um this year's the first year you can't use that. What's the limit on what you catch? Um you can catch one thirty four inch one or keep. You can keep one thirty four inch fish per person in the boat. Anything under that you can keep as many as you want. We don't keep them. We catch them and we'll put them back in here. Just like to see what we can catch. Okay, you want me to move? You can. Because I it felt like it was a little too big for my where my feet are. Okay. I would never do this by myself. I know that much. His tail. You have his tail? Yeah. I might just have to grab him. I can't, I ain't got no other way to grab him. Oh, he's facing that way. He's just so big. They're always turned weird in this hole. They... All right, I'm just going to pull him out this way. You sure? Yeah. Okay. They're always turned funny. Oh, he bit him that time though. He bit you that time. Mm. Oh, he's a good blue. He's a good blue. <gasps> all right, y'all. This is what tenth fish of the day, and it seems like I've caught them all because Alyssa hasn't really been feeling good. And then the one big fish that we did get on for her, I kind of messed up and it got out on me. It's okay, baby. Don't worry. About but this is about the end of a day. We haven't kept any fish today. I haven't kept any, and this is gonna be about the last last one, but we're gonna let her go. We may try to check some more ramps so y'all may see us again, but <laughs> I have to let her go. That whiskey, hey, uh, whiskey's gone. Cool. Uh, yeah. She's ready to go. She goes. Cool. Away. Right. Spinning. Yeah. Hold on, hold on tight. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I got her good now, but she was upside down. Oh, Thank you so much. Ooh. Big Big fish. How did you even get her to the front? Y'all, Cody just worked so hard on this fish. He got her to the front and let me reach in and grab her lip. Oh my gosh. That's a big old fish. She's heavy. Oh, that's so big. That's the one that got out yesterday. We both worked on her yesterday and she, she got smart, realized what we were doing. And when Cody had her up at the front, she shot out on him. But today he got her up to the front. He let me go in and grab her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Cody. Oh, those are ones that will break your wrist. Yeah, she will. She just popped my wrist. She's going to 38, but I can't tell. Yeah, she's 38, 39. Close. Hold on. There she, hold on. She's leaving them out there. Okay, 36 to 37. Right at 37. Okay. Hey, y'all. We're back out here for day two today. It's just me and Cody. What we don't share with you guys a lot is that when you're noodling, the fish aren't always at the front of the hole. Sometimes we have to maneuver them to the front of the hole. And yesterday we had one of those scenarios where the fish was about probably six feet back and neither one of us could reach it with our hands. So I worked it for a little while with the cane pole and tried to get it to the front. And Cody and I kind of took turns and the whole entrance was about probably, what would you say, three foot wide. Mm -hmm. And that means you got to put your legs in it. You got to turn sideways. Well, while Cody got her to the front, just when he touched her face, the fish shot out. She got right under, in between my legs, his legs, everything. And we're both disappointed because you can tell by the way a fish bites how big it is 
Um, but we came back out here today and I was not optimistic. <laughs> we got out here at like 8.30 and we came back to the same hole and I thought there's just no way she's back in there. But Cody worked his tail off for me and he got her to the front and he promised me, he said, she's not getting out this time. He said, she's right there. So I went down and I felt this big <laughs> bottom lip. And look at this fish, y'all. She's beautiful. We got her weight and everything. She went, she kept going from 35 to 38, so. Somewhere between there. Really good fish, but I've had her for a little while just to make a video, so we're gonna let her go here in a second. Um, that just showed you the perks too. Even if we had caught this fish yesterday and released her like we normally do, she probably would have went right back and finished what she was doing. So that's why we definitely encourage letting them go. I'm freezing, so that's why I'm out of breath. I'm so cold, my adrenaline's going. Catfish fever is a real thing. You see why? They're really cool, like, really cool creatures. Mm, so cool. Woohoo! Talk about gloves. Oh, yeah, we didn't get to do that. So, when we noodle, we wear gloves. I don't have one on this one right now, but just because I'm just taking a couple pictures. But when we noodle, we get these gloves. Have a little bit of rubber. If she goes, she'll go. I'll let her go. Um, but look at all that slime from my arm. We got these gloves. I get mine on Amazon. another thing I do get asked a lot how, how do I do this on my own I want to do this on my own don't do this by yourself for the first time go with a guide go with a friend who knows what they're doing this is not easy and you can definitely get hurt absolutely so if you guys need references for if you're close to Tennessee I know a guy there if you're close to Illinois I know an awesome guy there who only catches flatheads so that's a really good first time experience um, but y'all always feel free to ask us questions. Thanks for watching us catch fish. Woohoo! Woohoo! We're all tall. She is ready to go. Is she? Yeah. See her? Yeah. She went. She Where she went, but she went. So. I think she went towards you. <laughs> Noodling is so pretty. Got leeches all over me. Ugh. Little suckers. Wiggly. My legs are all cut up from the concrete. Your legs, look at noodling. It's rough. It's fun. Oh. What you think, Sam? Don't want any part of it. 